guys and welcome to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Today I'm broadcasting from my home away from home aka my parents house. Some of you may remember this delightful backdrop from videos like long long time ago and as you can see they've left it exactly as I had it. <laughs> Anyways today I'm going to be doing a new piece for the Bad Apple Artist Collective monthly auction and I'm really excited about it because this month our theme is dark forest and there's just so many ways that you can interpret that or take that. In fact there were so many possibilities that I actually had a little bit of artist block on this one and I've told you guys I, I don't usually have artist block that often I usually have like more ideas than I can get out and then the one time I need an idea I can't think of anything or I have ideas but I don't know how to I don't know how to like execute them I guess it's just the artist plight right I'm sure all of you guys have been there anyways though before I get started on that process uh, I wanted to share with you exciting news as many of you know from my last episode of Art New Vogue I told you guys that I did a tarot card for the 78 tarot deck and I am super excited it is now up on Kickstarter where they're funding the project and you can pre-order your tarot deck and here's just a little preview of some of the cards and what the set is going to look like and they're absolutely gorgeous and I cannot wait to get my hands on some and they're also going to be doing a um, 44 page guide that goes along with the cards and we'll have the art in there and everything so it's pretty fabulous if you're into a little bit of the tarot card reading type stuff even if you're not it's just actually a really cool like art collection if you like collecting cards you can probably even frame them so there there's something for everybody if you'd like to get in on the Kickstarter you can go right here to this little mini link I've made for you and you can pre-order your deck and art book and there's collectible prints and all this stuff um, if not you will also be able to buy them after the Kickstarter's launch so I'll give you guys the direct link to buy those once those come out so anyways um, go check that out and now let's get started on today's piece and see what we can come up with for the auction so when I was thinking about this piece I was feeling like I said kind of artistically blocked I had a really like hectic week I had a ton of orders and I helped my sister move and um, it was just kind of crazy and I every time I sat down to come up with an idea I just couldn't think of something so I just went off and worked on something else um, but I had a couple of inspirations. I recently saw The Witch, like I said, and I really liked the poster for that film. And I kind of wanted to incorporate that. I mean, it's a very spooky, mysterious forest kind of idea. And so then I just started, I sat down, and I was like, okay, just do some sketches. And I started this little thumbnail here. And, you know, as I was working on it, I started beating myself up mentally and I was like this is not that original you've done something like this before you've used a composition or like this before and someone's gonna clock you for that and then <laughs> the more I thought about it I was like you know what sometimes you just have to go with it and sometimes it's not gonna be the most innovative idea you've ever come up with deadlines are real for almost any profession and sometimes we just have to get it done so I was like you know what I don't have time to overthink this so I'm just gonna try to make this a unique character and even if I've kind of used a similar idea before I mean it's not the worst thing ever so I just want to kind of let you guys in on that kind of um, my thought process and a lot of artists do the same thing kind of over and over again so I don't feel like we should beat so hard on ourselves and I, I do always strive to do something unique and different so that was kind of challenging but as you can see as I'm in, as I'm progressing here I really wanted to um, make this character unique from my other characters and I want to give a little shout out to Penny who actually looked at my thumbnail and she said oh is that Snow White it reminds me of Snow White and that was not my initial intention actually I did not intend to do Snow White per se I just wanted this tree branch kind of head hair transformation and I thought that was a really great idea so I'm personally dedicating this to you Penny and I also started thinking about that piece I did several years ago um, that I called Rose Red who was also inspired by Snow White and I really in all honesty I don't like that piece I'm gonna be straight out I, I was a bit frustrating for me it didn't work out exactly as I'd planned so I thought this would also be a good opportunity to do sort of a uh, draw this again paint this again so this is kind of a new interpretation of that subject matter so I hope you guys like how she turns out
Okay, you guys, well, my Snow White piece is almost finished now. And before I show you how she turned out, just want to tell you a few quick things. First of all is, yes, I do realize that it looks like I'm wearing a little hat. It looks like I have this little pink, like, flower hat thing, like, in the background. Whatever. So if you were going to comment about that, yes, I did notice. But in other news, I just want to once again plug my online class, the Art School Express, and let you guys know that time is running out to get that $65 off. April 1st is the last day you can enroll to get that coupon, the SIA65 promo. And then I'm going to be moving my course um, away from Udemy into a new platform, which is in progress now, but it's taking me a little while. Um, the class has been going super awesome. I mean, if you guys don't believe me, feel free to read my reviews right here. Um, everyone in the class has been amazing and I, I'm hoping that some of them might uh, let me show like a before and after like the first assignment and the last assignment to give you guys um, an idea of what you too can accomplish. Um, I've just gotten some great feedback and I've really enjoyed it. I have 45 students, maybe 46 students, and uh, it's just been super great and I would love to have more of you. You can start anytime, you can work at your own pace, there's no pressure involved and I'm just enjoying helping you guys and guiding you to a, a more professional portfolio. And I truly feel that some of you, by the time you're done, will be able to get out there and actually take on some illustration jobs. So while that's going on, I'm also currently writing my business of art class and I'm breaking that down into um, the curriculum. So that will be coming up soon if you're waiting for that too. I'll keep you guys posted, you know, I'm just one woman. I can only do so much. Anyways, back to this piece though. This auction will be ending March 31st at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And um, that will be your last chance to own this original. So don't forget, that's probably either today if I'm posting the video on the 31st or the day before. It depends how fast I can edit. Anyways, don't miss out on that. And if you're in the market for a print, I am doing a first 10 print release where you'll get a bonus prize pack, a sign and doodle postcard, a secret mini print, and a little keychain or a button or some other surprise goodie. So if you want to get one of those first 10 release prints of Snow White, run over to my Etsy store right now and get one. I really love doing those. Um, so I hope that uh, you pick one up. Okay guys, well I guess that's the news for now and that's uh, all I have to tell you. So I'm going to show you this final piece and I'll see you guys on another episode really soon. Um, I'm taking a little trip to Seattle, so I'm super excited. I hope I get some inspiration. I know Seattle has a super great art scene, so I'm really uh, looking forward to that. And I'm going to be finishing my Apple Turbo Girl um, that I worked on on the paint along, so I will have a print of that too very soon and the original. So wow, lots, lots of good stuff coming up for you guys. You cannot complain that I don't offer you as much goodness as possible. Okay guys, well I hope you like this piece and I hope you'll pick up a print and uh, bid on the original. So I will see all of you guys on the next episode. Lonnie Joy here with another episode of Art New Vogue. Stop it, yapper. First of all, as uh, 